Ever wondered why there's so much confusion about the creation of Israel? It's a question that has sparked countless debates, fueled numerous conflicts, and led to a multitude of misconceptions. One of the most common misconceptions is that Israel was created in the year 1948. This belief has become so ingrained in our collective consciousness that it's often taken as a fact. But is it? The importance of understanding the true history of Israel cannot be overstated. It's not just about correcting a historical inaccuracy, but also about shedding light on the rich and complex heritage of a nation that has been at the crossroads of civilization for thousands of years. The reality? Our understanding of Israel's creation isn't simply a date in a history book or a political decision made in the aftermath of World War II. But what if I told you Israel's history goes back much further than 1948? To truly grasp the origins of Israel, we need to delve into an ancient source, the Bible. This timeless text provides a historical narrative that takes us back thousands of years, long before the modern political establishment of the state in the mid-20th century. The genesis of Israel, according to the Bible, begins with a promise. In the book of Genesis, chapter 12, verses 1 to 3, God speaks to Abraham. He tells him to leave his homeland and promises to make him the father of a great nation. This nation was not specified by geographical boundaries as we understand them today, but by a lineage, a people chosen by God, known today as the Israelites. Now let's fast forward a few centuries to a pivotal event in Israel's history, the Exodus. This is when Moses, under divine guidance, led the Israelites out of Egyptian bondage. This journey, marked by miracles and trials, was more than a physical relocation. It was the birth of a collective identity, the foundation of a nation, the first real manifestation of God's promise to Abraham. Then, we arrive at the reigns of King David and King Solomon, around 3,000 years ago. King David, a shepherd turned king, unified the 12 tribes of Israel, establishing Jerusalem as the political and spiritual center. His son Solomon built the first temple there, further solidifying the nation's identity. These events set the stage for the establishment of the Kingdom of Israel, a land defined not just by its borders but by its people, their faith, and their shared history. It's important to understand that Israel's roots are deeply intertwined with these biblical narratives. The nation's identity was carved out over centuries, shaped by divine promises, miraculous escapes, and the rule of wise kings. So as you can see, the roots of Israel run deep, far beyond the 20th century. The tale of Israel is not merely a tale of a land, but of a people and their enduring faith, a story that began long before the modern state was established. Now, you might be wondering, why does this matter? Well, it's simple. By understanding the historical context, we can challenge the arguments of those who assert that Israel was created only in the mid-20th century. This includes some interpretations within the Islamic tradition. The importance of this isn't about winning a debate, but it's about facilitating more informed, respectful conversations. It's about fostering a broader understanding of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. By appreciating the deep roots of Israel's history, we can better comprehend the complexities of the present struggle. We're not just talking about a piece of land here, we're talking about a place steeped in thousands of years of history, a place that is sacred to many, a place of deep-rooted traditions and beliefs. So next time you find yourself in a conversation about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, remember this. It's clear that the history of Israel is complex and steeped in deep-rooted traditions and beliefs. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've covered. We began by tackling the pervasive misconception that Israel was created in 1948. However, this is a simplified view of a rich and complex history that spans thousands of years. We then journeyed back in time through the lens of the Bible, a text that places the origin of Israel over 3,000 years ago. This biblical narrative provides a different perspective, offering a deeper understanding of Israel's historical roots. Next. We grappled with the controversy, acknowledging the differing viewpoints and the passionate debates that arise from them. It's crucial to remember that these debates are not merely about land or politics, but about people and their histories. Understanding this history is more than an academic exercise. It's about fostering empathy, encouraging dialogue and striving for peace. Remember, knowledge is power, 
and understanding history can pave the way for a more peaceful future.